Hello there awesome grade 2 students! Welcome to another day of learning adventure in English school. This is Teacher Lai and our topic for today in our week 8 quarter 3 is about choral speaking and echo reading with repeated patterns and refrains. In this lesson, you are expected to participate in choral speaking and echo reading of short poems, rhymes, and stories with repeated patterns and refrains in English. In the previous lesson, you have understood that the main idea of the story tells us what the story is about. It is called Big Idea or Major Point. To refresh on our previous topic, read the story carefully and think about the main idea. Choose the best answer and write it in your notebook. We wake up early. My brother is excited. My mother prepares our meal, fruits, and some soda. Dad cleaned the car. We will be going to the park. What is the text major point? A. Going to the picnic. B. Watching a movie. C. Cleaning the car. You're right. It's letter A. Next. When I grow up, I want to be an actor. I can perform on TV and act on stage plays. All my friends will watch me perform. A. What I want to be. B. How to be healthy. C. My manners. Correct! The major point of this text is letter A. Let's now start with our new lesson. Do you have any idea what choral speaking and echo reading are? Echo reading is a strategy used for guided reading in which students read the text after a teacher reads the same text aloud. Choral speaking, on the other hand, is where the teacher and students read the passage both at the same time. Students can participate in a choral speaking or echo reading in many ways. You can perform by reciting short poems, rhymes, short stories or verses with repeated patterns and refrains. Repeated patterns are when certain words, sentences or phrases are written repeatedly in poems, rhymes and stories for emphasis. Refrains are repeated lines that may be found at the middle or usually at the end of each stanza. It may be repeated at regular intervals. Read the examples below. Example A. I visited my grandfather. I visited my grandmother. They love to see me often. They love to cook and sleep. They rest under an old tree. Example B. I visit them always. And they love to see me often. I love my grandparents. They always cook and sleep. I bring their favorite food. I love my grandparents. Which of the examples shows repeated patterns? Which one presents refrains? Example A is a poem that shows repeated patterns. Two patterns are shown in the given poem. I visited my and the word they. Meanwhile, example B shows the use of refrain. The last line in each stanza shows the refrain of the poem. Now, let's test how well you understood the lesson. Let's answer our activity task number one. Read aloud the poems along with a family member. Then answer the questions that follow. Write the letters of your answers in your notebook. The moon. The moon shines in the dark. 
The moon is half. The moon is tainted. So is the human heart. What is being repeated in the poem? A. Human B. Moon C. Heart What's your answer? You write letter B. The moon Number 2. What type of pattern is used in the poem? Letter A. Repetitive pattern B. Refrain Very good! Number 3. Which among the words below rhymes with the word moon? Take note kids that rhymes are words that have the same ending sounds. So which of these words rhyme with the word moon? A. Zoom B. Noon C. Room Correct! Letter B Next my mother baked a delicious cake. She prepared a spaghetti and pancit. It's my birthday. Fried chicken was prepared by my loving and supportive father. It's my birthday. Number 4. What is being repeated in the story? A. It's my birthday. B. Fried chicken was prepared. Yes, letter... A. Number 5. What type of pattern is used in the poem? A. Repetitive pattern. B. Refrain. Right. Refrain. Repeating patterns and refrain. Repeating patterns refers to the repeated words to place emphasis on the given poem. Sounds may also be repeated to emphasize the pattern. Refrain is the repetition of lines. This is also to emphasize the idea shown in the poem. The lines may be repeated at the middle part of each stanza. However, refrain usually occurs at the end of each stanza. Let's move forward to learning task number 2. Read the poems or short stories carefully, then answer the questions that follow. Write the letters of your answers in your notebook. The stars shine bright at night. The stars bring joy to my life. The stars guide us in our lives. They make us happy at night. What is being repeated in the story? A. Bright at night. B. The stars. Perfect! Letter B. The stars. Number 2. What type of pattern is used in the poem? A. Repetitive pattern. B. Refrain. Correct! It's repetitive pattern. Next. In my sleep, I dream. In my sleep, I believe. In my sleep, I mourn. Number three. What is the phrase that is being repeated? A. I dream. B. In my sleep. Cool. Letter B. Number four. What pattern technique is used in the text? A. Repetitive pattern. B. Refrain. Bravo! It's letter B. Next. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Number 5. What is being repeated in the rhyme? A. Like a diamond in the sky. B. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. You write letter B. We're now in learning task number 3. 
Read the poem below. Ask your parents, guardians, or siblings to read it with you, or you may read it after me. I play my toys during my free time. My parents allow me to bring them outside. I am still a child. My friends play with me in the park. We bring our toys with us. I am still a child. Good job, kids! Yay! Let's read and recite some more. Work together with one of your family members. Recite the following verses of your favorite rhymes. Then write the words that rhyme. Rain, rain, go away. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. Little children want to play. Rain, rain, go away. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. Little children want to play. Rain, rain, go away. Check your work. Here are the words that rhyme in the verses we read. Participate in the choral speech. Girls will read the girl part and boys will take the boys part. Listen to the rain. Peter Potter, Peter Potter, listen to the rain. Splash, 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 splash on the window pane. Tap, 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 dancing on the leaves. Drip, 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 falling on the leaves. Tap, tap. Flash, flash, then, then drip, 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 drip Peter, again. Peter, Potter, Peter, Potter, don't you like to hear it rain? Remember this, repeating pattern refers to the repeated words or sounds to place emphasis on the given poem. Meanwhile, refrain is the repetition of lines. This usually occurs at the end of each stanza. Congrats kids! You did a great job today! Thanks for watching! Hope to see you again in our next video. Bye!